Welcome, everybody. Back to Spore. We're back in the wonderful world of Spore yet again. It's your favorite. It's my favorite. It's everybody's favorite. We have all of our wonderful worlds here. Uh, let's see. Jankia. That was our original one. Seems old now. Fragania. There she is. Uh, and Thil, of course. I think the other ones are just uh, some of my old worlds. Yeah. But. Today we're not actually going to play the uh, the main game of Spore. We're going to be doing a different part of Spore. This is actually probably my favorite part of this game, is simply the creature creator. Um, we're not just going to jump into the creature creator. This is actually technically a continuation of a really old series I did way back when, uh, before I was like trying to take YouTube seriously and all that. And... Uh, we're, yeah, we're continuing the Sporamon series after, I think, two years, something like that. I have in here a very large, you can see there's 1,490 uh, creations that I have stored up that are, they're, I mean, they're just various, there's various Spore creature creations, but I gave them all names, typings, and stats and abilities akin to the Pokemon universe. Um, I There's a few distinctions that I will point out. First of all, the stat system. Here, let's just find someone random to use as an example. Um, let's do... Oh, we're right in here. Let's go a little further down. Let's use Yul Crack. Sure. So this, how I how I do it. Um, you can see this is my little design for a uh, Pokemon that would be bursting out of an egg, akin to a little chick. Um, I see. I give the flying type here. Uh, usually there are two types. Sometimes they're just one. Um, and then all of these stats here, you can see there's HP, it's a little small, but there's HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed, the same as Pokemon. They're all on a scale of 5 to 200, uh, all in increments of 5, 200 really being like the max and the best, and 5 being the lowest or the worst. You can see that this particular Pokemon, uh, Sporamon, I should say, has 20 HP. 35 attack, 110 defense, probably because of that yolk-like shell. I made this a long time ago, so, you know, I, I don't exactly remember every single detail that I added to these things. 5 special attacks, 10 special defense, and 45 speed. And then I also give them 1, 2, sometimes even 3 abilities, which is just the name of the ability. This thing has eggshell, and then a description of the ability, what it does. Uh, just for reference, this one has... Eggshell, after being hit by a physical attack, lose one defense stage and gain two speed stages. And then I give them a tag that is, I like how Pokemon does, you know, the 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 fish Pokemon, the buff Pokemon, whatever. I do, I give them a little description. This one got the alone Sporemon, which is rather sad, but I suppose it does make sense. But yeah, I have... Like you can see, uh, almost 1,500 of these, which is actually funny. That's pretty much the amount of subscribers I have at this point in time, which is kind of just a, a coincidence. But they've been going on for a long time. Let's see. Go all the way down to the bottom. Our first one. Some of them uh, have Latin names, while some of them just have, like, Pokemon-esque names. The oldest one here is from 2020. I believe I actually made them quite a lot earlier. And that there are some that I went back to and redid so that is the last time that i at least edited this first one being glacies pez uh, which does mean ice foot i believe in latin um this is kind of our our basic one ice and water type all that kind of stuff so we have a lot of these but unlike in my old series i don't want to just go through all the ones that i've already made i instead would actually like to uh, make some new designs. I think in this episode, we're going to go and find just some random designs throughout my long, long list to revamp, take another look at. Maybe we'll give them an evolution. Maybe we'll give them a pre-evolution. Some of them have mega forms. Some of them have, um, what are they called? 
regional forms. Um, these are all Pokemon terms. If you're not familiar with the series, with the Pokemon series, then it might be a little confusing, but I think you'll get it fair enough, quickly enough. But it's also a decent amount that just have shinies. Maybe if there's something that I don't really feel like I can improve or change that much, I'll just give them a shiny, whatever. Um, so we're going to do that at first, and then I think we're going to make one, at least one, completely new Sporamon for this video. Uh, just to get us an entirely new one. Uh, maybe I'll base it off the channel somehow. I, I don't exactly know. But, uh, I guess we do already have Jankum down here, which, oh, I did actually, I already gave him stats. Uh, you can, this was the creature that we made in our first Spore playthrough, um, uh, back in A Whole New Jank. Uh, he's got a couple pretty good abilities here. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's sort of a generic, you know, creature that we made in the world that I just try to give stats to. But either way, let's jump right into it. Uh, you may have also seen, I guess, let me actually point out, this is a Cosmic in Poison type. All the types are the same as Pokemon. With the exception, there's no normal type, and instead it has been replaced with the cosmic type. This just represents everything from space, um, space power, you know, like gravity, kinda, uh, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, alright. Without any further ado, I think I just want to grab a random one here, so I'm going to pull this down to somewhere random and then I'm just gonna put my mouse out and whatever we land on is the one we're going to uh, take another look at. So let's just see what we get right in the middle. We got Cowemon. Beautiful, okay. This is the Lemon Sporamon, a grass and poison type. Um, okay, stats, but nothing crazy. Um, and he's got, let's see, the ability Citric Acid, all moves which land, erode any positive defense stat changes on the enemy, and any poison attack which lands lowers the enemy's accuracy one stage. Interesting. Well, here, let's take a look in our search here and just see if we have... Okay, we do have already, it seems like, what is this? Right, okay, so this is just a small change... To its description and then this one i believe is its evolution so it does already have an evolution uh lem lime which okay okay i do like the direction that i went here it's got citric acid still i mean it's got accuracy one stage just has that it that as an ability still and then the stats are somewhat improved it is a grass and poison type that is interesting. I am actually wondering if maybe for this one, we could give him perhaps an alter evolution. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do too much as far as giving this one an evolution. Potentially, we could. Um, I suppose there is a direction I can think to go. Maybe like the Minotaur direction? That's not bad, but I do actually kind of like the idea of giving him an Alter Evolution. So let's take... Let's take this one, the more, the slightly updated form. I believe the only change is it has the little Tasty moniker here, which just signifies that this is a food-inspired Sporamon, basically. But, okay. Let's just jump into it. Let's not think about it too much. I think we're going to go for, like I said, an alter evolution here. So this is just going to be a split evolutionary path um, that he could potentially evolve into this rather than the other one. The other uh, evolution that we just looked at. So we're going to need to make it look a bit, a good bit different from Lemlime. I do have an idea of how to do that. I think the other one is clearly based off of Lemon Lime, but I think this one I'm going to base instead off of Lemon and Orange, just to kind of give a different citric acid. We could also do like Grapefruit, I suppose. Oh, you know what? That's actually kind of tempting. 
could base him off of grapefruit. Do I want this the type to change? Hmm. This is a dilemma. I think we might change the type. A grass mm, a grass fairy type isn't particularly interesting. A fairy poison type is, but hmm. I do like him having the grass type. Hmm, I guess if we gave him grapefruit, uh, made it the altar thing a grapefruit, then we could give him like a different ability that could kind of switch him up from the others or from, you know, its other evolution. Okay, this tail is a bit extreme. Let me shrink this down a little bit. We do need to make him look significantly larger than his pre-evolution here we go let's do this can i make the tail any longer no spore is unfortunately quite limiting as far as how uh long you can make the spine so i'm going to shorten the head up a bit here i think that'll work and then we'll do this to extend that tail out a bit more and make it look still menacing rather than you know just a little bit of a stump. You can't really swing it around if it's just a stump. Um, and then, let's see, the other one had the spikes going out like that. I could make them go in like that. That's kind of interesting. It's a bit weird, but... Alright, I mean, I'd say I like that enough. Um, okay, let's reposition the eyes here. I was actually thinking about giving them different eyes rather than the squinty or maybe we could give him just a different set of squinters let's go for these instead that'll help differentiate him from the line before this series will probably be if you didn't see my tutorial i did make a tutorial on how to make better spore creatures but this series if i do end up doing more it kind of depends on how much y'all like it but this series will probably be a decent way of also finding more ways, more strategies and things of making better spore creatures. Uh, I have been doing this for a long time, so I know a lot of the strategies and stuff. Um, okay, let's give them a bit more verticality. There we go. Okay, there we go. Um, I am a pretty big, while I'm doing this, I'll probably just be talking and stuff, you know, about whatever, but uh, I am a fairly big Pokemon fan, and if you guys are at all interested in seeing Pokemon content on this channel, then be sure to let me know, because I've been trying to think about what I could do, and I'm really not sure, but I imagine there's something I could figure out, doing like a ROM hack or something, like a randomizer, that could be fun. Um... The other evolution did have two sets of horns. I'm not sure if I'm really liking that on this guy. I do like the bent over horns though. It is making him look a little bit more like a buffalo. Um, do I want to switch out the legs? Or just kind of beef him up a bit? I think I might just beef him up. Uh, let's round him out. Ooh. Okay, yeah, let's go for that. And then I'll slap those over there. If you guys have any questions about what I'm doing, uh, like I said, the tutorial I did should, it does pretty much explain every, you know, more unique building strategy uh, in the game. So that'll answer all your questions, but I will also answer them in the comments if you'd rather put them there. Okay, I like, I like this so far. He's looking quite sturdy, which is definitely good for like a bovine type creature um and yeah also just if you do like this idea and want to see more of this series then let me know let's uh let's make it into an actual series if you want this would be a lot easier of a spore video for me to get out more quickly because the other ones take quite a bit of time between all the actual gameplay and the editing and everything so this would be a much quicker uh, spore series to get out okay i think that's a pretty good base for me still pretty low to the ground which i do like i got those bigger feet got that tail 
I guess the spikes going in is kind of making me feel like it's a bit silly. Uh, let's make him, how about in the middle? Let's give it a nice, yeah, that's kind of nice. Kind of like a sun-kissed sort of look from behind. I do actually quite like that. Okay, now, now that we have our base form pretty much done, is there anything else I want to do? You know, one thing we could potentially do is instead of giving him another set of horns, we could try to give him somewhat of a set of tusks. Um, okay, tell you what, we're going to move this uh, out of the way. I'm going to put these here. And then we're going to, let's see, do this. And let's see if we can kind of, okay, we can move them even a little closer together. And then put it here. That would make it a bit hard for him to eat, I reckon. Uh, so let's spread them out a little bit. Maybe we can make them a little longer. Okay. I look. I like the look of that pretty well. Can I maybe, let's expand this out a tad, really make it envelop those tusks. Nice, okay, yeah, that's actually pretty sweet. Um, I'm liking this. Let's see, is there anything I wanna put on his back? That is a good question. Oh, the other one did have that increase in armor, didn't it? Hmm, I think I probably would like this one to also increase armor a bit. Here, let's take a quick look um, at our, at the other one. Oh, how did I misspell it? Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so the original, right, just looks like this. Nothing really we need to learn from that. But then Lem Lime... Right, he's a big, thick boy. Um, he's pretty chill looking. And then the stats on him, high HP, high attack. Pretty good defense, but not crazy. Hmm. That is interesting. His stats are... We definitely want the other evolution to have somewhat different stats. Speed pretty low. Hmm. I mean, this one does kind of feel much more chill, a bit more of a chill grazer type. So I guess for this one, let me take another look at him. For this one, he's definitely more angry looking, a bit stronger looking even. Hmm, okay, let's think about how we could actually do this then. Maybe something like this. And then we could give him a bit of a back ridge here. Let's check this out. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool for sure. Let me shrink him down just a little bit. Uh, okay, they've got a bit of overhang there still. That's not ideal. Um, could I shrink that one down a bit? And then let's also shrink this one down a bit. Ooh, these ones also have a little bit of overhang. Uh, let's do that. Make them a bit thinner. Uh, okay, this one got a bit taller, but I, I don't actually mind that. Getting it a, a little bit taller. I am starting to feel like I like the orange idea more than the grapefruit idea. And who knows, maybe we'll also come back and make a grapefruit. But this guy is giving me more orange vibe, especially with this little sun-kissed, like, tail back here. But nice. Okay, I like that pretty well. Is there anything else I want to do? Let's see. Oh, running out of stuff. Let me do uh, freedom and add DNA. I do completely freely use cheats here. I mean, it's just to allow us to do whatever we want rather than not being, you know, confined by the usual spore rules, which are pretty dumb, especially to have just in the creature creator. Like, what the hell is the point? But, okay. Uh, let's see. Do I want some armor here? Uh, I think I do. If I can get it kind of the right orientation. Just some shoulder pads. Nothing too crazy. But I do think I like the look of that. Let's see if maybe some back here as well. Um, oriented a little different. 
Okay, okay, and then maybe one of these back here as well. Um, it's about as big as I can get it, unfortunately. But, eh, maybe if I spin it around, I'll like it a bit more. For a nice, big, flat one. Eh, yeah, I'm not really liking that. But, okay, I do think this guy's looking pretty good, to be honest. I like that he's got a lot of angularness with these plates now, which is making him, giving him that citrusy feel again. So, okay. Yeah, I think I like that. Now let's just color him up. Um, so the other one, yeah, we, have, we went with the green on the other one. So this one, we just want to go with the orange. The body is probably pretty good already. I might switch it up a little, but let's let's actually start with changing these. Uh, we don't want it to be too intense of an orange. But we want it to be decent for sure. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay, might make it less intense than that even, but for now, let's get this orange going as well. And then we'll think about if I want to change the base. I do actually think the base that he's got is probably the one that I want. Okay, that orange is looking a little dull. Is that this one? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's brighten it up a little bit then. Not sure why it's looking so dull actually. And then let's also brighten up the yellow a tad bit as well. We'll see how we like that. And they're also going to need to think of a new name. Cow, orange, lemon orange. I mean, I, I went lem lime for the other ones. So that's not like that's very creative. Uh, but I do like, yeah, this one's looking a lot more ferocious than the other one. Yeah. That orange is actually kind of looking a little red. Um, Here, let's brighten it up and then go this way. See if we can get it looking a little bit more orangey. Uh, grass and poison, we'll leave that, but we will definitely change up the uh, ability a little bit. And any poison attack lowers the enemy's accuracy one stage. I do like this ability, so I guess we'll see how much room we have, because this also, the descriptions do have a max character limit, which is super dumb, but we can deal do I like the spots? Something about the spots I'm not feeling. Let's see if I like... I have an idea. Let's see if I like... Ah, uh, where is it? Where are you? Wait, what? Did I pass it? Am I... Is the one I'm thinking of a detail? It probably is. Ah, yeah. I was thinking about this one. Okay, well... We need a different coat. So... Maybe... Hmm... Maybe something like this. Just make the spots a little bit bigger and less uniform. Um, eh. No, I don't love that either. Hmm... Gotta be something in here that I think is good. Sometimes it's hard to find the the truly ideal coloring for these guys. Ah, oh, man. I, I don't know. I am struggling a little bit. With that big thing on his back, it's not ideal to put something on his back because a lot of it's going to be covered up and, like, look a little strange with, like, the color clashing. Ah, uh, you know, that's not too bad. I kind of like the separation of the color a bit. Okay, we'll go with that for now. I might change it when we're done with this, but... Okay, a new name. Orange is a bit of a, a hard one to do. Like, we could do, like, Coran... Corange? Corange? It's actually not... It's actually not too bad. Um... We could also do Morange. Morange. 
I kind of like that, actually. Morange. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we're going to make this Evo of Cowemen. And then we need to upgrade his stats. So I want him to be more aggressive than his friend. Um, let's see. Like I said, the max is 200. So I usually kind of judge it by what something that has 200 HP would look like versus something that has 5 or 100. So I think he's about... He's not huge. But he is, I mean, he is decently large. I think I'll give him 110, a little less than the other one. Uh, attack, though, we're going to make this a decent amount higher. We're going to make this, like, 125. How much did I give the other one? Let me give it one more look. Cowemon. Nope, come on. Um... I gave him 125. Okay, defense 80, special attack 90, special defense 45, speed uh, 85. 125, 80, 90, 45. Okay. So we'll go for 135 then. I don't want to go too crazy on the attack, but I do think he's pretty menacing looking. He's got a decent amount of weapons. We'll go for 135. Uh, defense, I'll go... Oh, he's got pretty good defense, like just uh, just by looking at him. I'll give him 95 here. We're going to be making him more of a regular attacker than a special attacker. So we're actually going to have his special attack drop a bit. Probably actually a fair bit. I'm going to give him like 45. Uh, special defense, we'll get this to raise. He's a bit more active, so I'll give him, I'll give him 80 in the special defense department. Well, he is still a cow. We'll give him 75. And then speed. We'll let this go up to 90. Make him a bit faster than the other one. He doesn't exactly look very fast, but he's like a, he does a bull quality. You know, they can rush. Um, and then let me see. I don't think we're going to have much extra space here. We can just give a big, quick check. Yeah, we don't have basically anything. Um, okay, so there are a few ways I can decrease how long these things are. All moves which land. Um, okay, we're just going to do all moves erode. Uh, we're going to just change this erode positive defense stat. Positive defense stat changes i guess there's not really any way to change that on the enemy erode all moves erode positive defense stat changes um i want to change it to like on target uh on we'll just change it to on target it's not great english but we're trying to lower the word count here uh and any We'll get rid of and any poison attack uh, lowers lowers let's just go targets and then we can change accuracy to just ACC targets accuracy and then we can change one stage to just minus one. Okay, all moves erode positive defense stat changes on target. Any poison attack lowers target's accuracy minus one. There we go. Now we are free to give him another ability. Something based around an orange. Tell you what, I have an idea. He is a grass type, so we're going to give him the sun-kissed ability. And we're just going to say he resists fire moves. Boom. Done. Moorange. Moorange. Uh, Moorange is all done. Oh, we do have to change it to the... I'll just change it to the orange. Orange. There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay. He is complete. Let me save new. Always want to save new. 
Uh, there's, it's pretty, it's pretty rare that we want to press uh, uh, replace. Sometimes I'll just have to go like, oh wait, I've missed one thing or whatever, and go in and do a final touch, and then I'll do replace. But there we go. Moorange is complete. Uh, he is a beautiful, beautiful boy, indeed. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's wonderful. Okay. Uh, so now, I think I'm just going to do one more. Um, but I do want to do, this time, an original. So I have pretty much every... Um, every type combination in the game. I mean, technically, I do actually have... Uh, every type combination, but let's see. So we have Dragon and Psychic uh, with that line that you can see there. But do we have Psychic and Dragon? No. So technically we do have a Dragon and Psychic type, but we just don't have one that is... How I usually do it is whatever its most dominant type is, is the one that goes first. So technically it is a little different. But we don't have a Psychic and Dragon type. So... Let's go to our create and go to creature creator. And let's think of a dragon and psychic type. Now, how do we want to do this? No, a psychic and dragon type. So the other one I made that is dragon and psychic is just a, a dragon with psychic abilities. It's pretty simple. Um, but this is going to be dominantly psychic with just a bit of dragon. So I'm trying to think, how do we want to do this? I have somewhat of an idea. Um, let's see, if I do this, and then let's make this, and then this, and then this. Okay, you can kind of see the uh, the outline here. Let me reposition it a little bit and then fill it out a small bit. When it comes to the chest, you usually want the shoulder and pectoral region to be pretty big. And then like the rest of the abdomen to just be a bit smaller. And then right before the hips to be the smallest zone. Um, we'll do... This, keep that actually a little smaller. And then for the neck, we're going to expand this up. Um, okay. Sure, cool, cool beans. Um, I like the look of that. It's pretty, pretty sleek body there. So let's see about maybe giving him what type of dragon head. I do have the creepy and cute parts. So we could go for something a little bit like this. Kind of an ancient dragon. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you know what? I, I was thinking about doing the other one, but I actually think I like this pretty well. Expand that chin out a little bit just so he looks like kind of like he has a beard. Uh, I want this to be probably pretty thin. And maybe somewhat on the long side. There we go, there we go, okay. Now the legs are going to be a little bit difficult. I think... Okay, let's go for some arms, because I don't actually want him standing. I want him f floating. So let's go with... Just some arms like this. I guess... Hmm. It is tough making it like a convincing... I basically wanted his legs to be crossed. Which I could theoretically actually do. But for now, let's just pitch, position him like that and then let's get some dragon-esque hands. I don't think there's any in here that I'm going to want to use. Although we could actually use these. Uh, they're pretty clearly hands. We do want something that looks like it could be feet, at least, for his feet. Um, I guess we might even have a harder time finding that 
here. Something like this could work. Crisscross, and then, okay, let's just see. I might undo this, but let's see if I can kind of make them crisscrossing. Ooh, okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Okay, you know what? I'd say that actually does look like he's sitting crisscross. Cool beans. Um, okay, then in that case, do we want to... We'll make the arms separately. Um, we'll do... I think we'll use the same ones, though. I guess I don't particularly want him to be buff. I kind of just want him to be a bit monkish. Um, not that monks can't be buff. I definitely have seen some buff monks in my day. Nothing wrong with a with a good old buff monk. Uh, I guess, ooh, tell you what, let's actually extend these out like this. And then... Poo, 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 poo. Do I want to use these for the hands as well? I think I do. We'll do these, and then we'll do it like this. I want them to be open to the sky. Sort of like this. Okay, they're pretty hefty arms, but I do actually like the way they look. Nice. Okay, I'd say this is going quite well. Uh, now let's give him some eyes. I think we want some pretty intense dragon eyes on this boy, so I'm going to give him these. Yeah, let's reposition these. Do I want him to be big like that, or do I want him to be a bit on the small side? Mm, no, I think I like him bigger. Ooh, not that big. There we go. That's looking quite dragon-esque. Um, if you want something to look smarter, I recommend putting the eyes more on the front of the face, facing forward, and then a little bit more dumb or animalistic than putting them on the sides, facing outward. Uh, but we want this thing to look pretty smart, so we're gonna put them on the front there. And then, okay, I mean, that's basically our, our basic body design complete. Now we just need to add the adornments. Which, I'm not totally sure what I want to adorn him with, but we might do a little something-something like this. Mm, I don't know, it's a little fiery looking. Uh, I don't like that very much. We could, ooh, we could do a little something like this. I don't necessarily mind that. Hmm... I don't mind that. Is there anything better? Oh, I'll tell you what, we could. I mean, he is a dragon, so he's reptilian, so we probably don't want to give him hair. But hair is like these big flowing locks that they let you use. Can be a good way to kind of signify flowingness. Ooh, that does look kind of sick. Oh, I'll tell you what, I did forget one thing on the body, which is a tail. We don't have enough spine to work with, so a good strategy for making a tail when you have an already pretty long spine is to use one of the basic smooth arms. So we're going to thicken this up a bit. Let me put it a little higher. And then I think I want it to kind of curve upwards. Let's shrink that down. Maybe make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, now he's got a sick tail. Uh, we can also probably put something on the end of that. I did like the hair pretty well. Uh, I don't know, though. Putting hair on a dragon feels like sacrilege in a way. Um, this is looking a bit silly. All, although, actually, at the same time, it does kind of give him, like, almost a priesty kind of look, which is almost cool, but... Uh, I don't think I like it quite enough. Is there anything from here that I would want to put on him? Shark fin? I don't think so. He could go for like a classic bone crest. Um, I don't know if that's quite psychic-y enough. It's a little bit more on the physically threatening side, which we don't really want him to be exactly. I mean, maybe a bit, because he is a dragon, but... Not a lot. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, 
Okay. Ooh, I gotta admit, that is pretty cool. Okay, you know what? I do kind of like the idea of him funneling psychic energy through these things and having them glow and everything. You gotta use a, a lot of imagination when making art and spore, uh, but... You know, if you, if you have that imagination there, then you really can create some awesome things. At least in your, ho your own head, I guess. You guys will have to tell me if any of this is actually cool or not. I've kind of just been, you know, keeping this stuff to myself for a long time. So, I don't exactly know how other people, you know, are going to react to this sort of thing. Um, which, anything is okay. Uh, kind of liking this idea. Eh, that's a bit strange. How about on the sides? Ooh, yeah, okay. I like that. Kind of looks like it's helping him float. Yeah, okay, that's cool. And then... How about maybe some of these... Here? I like to adorn the more, like, ethereal-looking ones pretty heavily. It really helps them look, you know, almost over-designed. Um... Well, our over designing can kind of help them look like especially powerful or like ethereal or extraterrestrial in a way, which I think for a psychic dragon is a good way to go. Yeah, it also looks like energy is really emanating from the ground up. You know, it's good to have flow in your art. Um, okay, okay. I like this pretty well. I think I kind of want something in the middle here. Let me see if I like this. Extend it out. Get it a little bigger. Pull it back. Yeah, okay. I like that. A little bit of a spike on the end of the tail. Okay. This thing is looking pretty darn cool, actually. I'm quite liking the look. Now, what do we want to do with him? Other than what we've done. Whiskers is a little tempting. Uh, but I don't think it's the idea for this guy. Ah! Hmm, you know, that's not actually too bad. Ooh, I like, I really almost like that. Oh, it's so tempting. I'm really not sure if I like it, though. I feel like it might be a little distracting. It's also, we have the energy flowing up, like I said. So having something hanging down. And I guess the mouth, a lot of the pieces on the mouth hang down. But they also kind of extend up here at the end. Ugh, I don't think I quite like it enough to keep it. Um, We could actually, okay, you know what? There is something else we could do. We could give him a little bit more of an actual, like, beardy looking thing. Let's do this. Give him a little bit of like almost a goatee. Not a goatee. Something else. There's something else that I'm thinking of, but. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I do. I am liking the look of this. Maybe pull it out a little further. Have it growing from right in between those spikes. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I really like the way it kind of like ends, ends this curve as well. This curve that starts here and then flows. Boom. Yeah, yeah. I really like the curve of this guy. Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa there. <laughs> uh, don't clip that. Um, I like the curve that this piece of art is emanating. Um, ooh, I almost like that, actually. Having a little bit, making it somewhat look like the energy is flowing to the hands. Ooh. Do I actually maybe like it the other way a bit more? Ooh, I might. Hmm. I do think I like it. I wanted to add a little bit more to the hands, and I think... I can't tell if I've gone too far yet, but... I usually like going just a little too far. So let's gonna, we're going to do one more thing and just see if I can adorn his legs with anything. Why is this looking all weird? Oh, that's right, because it's... Mm, okay. I do forget, since it's asymmetrical. Uh, it's going to kind of end up on a different 
place. Or not exist at all. Oh, it's okay. We'll just copy one over to here. Whoops. There we go. One last piece of adornment, really just to make him look as flashy as possible, as powerful as possible. Um, okay. Oh, you know, I guess, okay. Though so actually the one one thing I'm thinking of is maybe putting these to the back. I liked it in the front because it looked like it was going into his hands, which would be producing the psychic power or whatever. But I actually think this might be the better way to go. Yeah, a little bit more design from the back, a little bit less abrasive from the front. Ooh, we could also actually... Which one of these do I like better? I might actually like it better going down. That way the tips are pointing up, but it also looks like the energy is flowing a bit down. Yeah, okay, there we go. I like the design of that, okay. Let's uh, let's move on. Let's move on to the painting portion. Um, how do we want to paint this guy? We definitely want him to be scaly on a basic level. So let's find a good set of scales here. I think the ones we're gonna want to go for is these. I have gotten used to him being green, and I did kind of like it. But I think we're gonna go for a bit of a purple look. Maybe purple and yellow? Because we could do channel colors, do purple and green, but I think for the psychic typing, ooh, that is a that is quite the vibrant purple. I am actually kinda liking light blue. The sound of light blue with this is kinda seeming kinda seeming hot. Ooh, I do like that. And then maybe yellow or gold. If we like that more, but um, hmm, that's not quite as impactful as I was imagining. Hmm, it kind of makes me like the blue less, which I'm wondering if that's the fault of the blue or the yellow. Let's change this up. Okay, yeah, I do like that, and I think we'll keep the gold for the rest of it, or maybe actually let's make this gold and this the bright yellow. And we still need to give all the, him all the designs and everything, but we'll do that in a second. Yeah. Okay, we'll go for that. And then for, let's see, for the purple, I'm thinking a little darker. And a touch more full. Uh, that's a little dark, actually. Maybe a little lighter than that. How about this? Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's still, it's intensely vibrant for sure, but I do think I like the look. Um, and for the design, it could go for something like this. We'll see what side of him that actually shows up on. Okay, it looks like a little bit of both. That's not bad. I don't mind that. Uh, do you want to see what this one looks like? First... And we're also going to have to think about what we want for the other. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I like the look of that. That gives him a very golden chest. Um, I will admit, in the detail, I am fairly partial to the wrist uh, patterns. I think they tend to look pretty darn good. Ooh, see? Yeah, the power emanating from his hands. I think that's the way to go. Is he done? He might be done. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm happy with him. Sometimes I do come back and give him just little changes here and there, but I think the look of this guy is about what I wanted. The purple is almost too vibrant. Tell you what, let me actually just try this. Just to see a slightly less intense purple. Um, hmm, it's a bit light now. Maybe this? Oh, you know, I might like that more. In for the colors, just for those who don't know, 
Going from right to left will give you uh, a less intense color, and then going from top to bottom will give you a darker color. Um, I do think I like that slightly less vibrant look on him, though, uh, just to make him a little bit more dull and easy to look at. Uh, dull in color, not in design, necessarily, but... Okay, so this is a psychic and dragon type. Jesus Christ, I can never type when I record. A psychic and dragon type. Uh, we're going to do HP, attack, defense, special attack, special defense. That's attack again, speed, and ability. Cool beans, cool beans. Uh, and we also are gonna, gonna need to give them a name. Hmm, a name for my man. Maybe Dracog, Dracogni, Dracognic. What did I name the other ones? Let me make sure I'm not doubling up on names here. Uh, dragon and Psychic. Mindadon, Intelladon, Psychodon, Maniadon. Okay, so I went more in the dinosaur type naming scheme. I might go for Dracognic then, because that is a combination of Draco, which is obviously Draconic, and then Cognic, which is like cognition. It, I believe it just means like brain or the mind in, I think, Latin. But all right, Dracognic, I think, is a great name. Um, okay. This is not an evolution or anything or anything like that. He's a perfectly new one, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, HP, let's see. Um, I'm thinking maybe 65. He's not large or thick. So I do think on the low side. Um, yeah, I'll give him I'll give him 65. I think it's a, it feels low, but I think that's fair just based on how big he is attack i mean he's got a pretty wicked bite you know he's got a chompers he's got some claws i'll give him like uh i think uh, you know i'm kind of feeling like a 65 defense he's got the scales but he's also pretty frail so i think i'm gonna give him a 60 on defense nothing great there special attack however i think this guy could definitely get an evolution one day so we're gonna go for not super high, but definitely on the high side. Maybe 125. I like that. Special defense. You know what? He's got kind of a sereneness going on. I think I'm actually going to give him 135 in that department. Speed. Mm, you know, that I think he kind of floats leisurely around. So I'm going to kind of just give him a 60. That feels low. I'll give him a 70. Not very fast. But not terrible. Okay, ability. An ability for Dracognic. Um, hmm, what kind of ability would he have? I, sometimes I like to make abilities that boost or that like boost stats or decrease stats on the enemy. Um, give him a a third type that they're proficient with give them um an extra resistance let's see what is he weak to fairy dragon uh dark bug um is that it i think that's it dragon's only weak to dragon and fairy i know that oh an ice he is also weak to ice. And then Psychic is weak to Dark, Bug, and Ghost. Eh, I don't necessarily feel like he needs anything there. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I tell you what. I think I'll give him Meditative. Which just means Special Defense cannot be lowered we'll give him that and then uh i kind of want to do something about psychic energy so i think we'll go like 
Um, hmm, I could just make it called Psychic Energy. Alright, we're going to make it a little, a little bit of a crazy one. We're going to make it Psycho Draconic Energy. And we're going to make this... Using a dragon move after a psychic move boosts its power by, let's say, 25%. There you go. So he kind of charges up using his psychic energy and then he unleashes it using his dragon. Uh, yeah, I, I like the idea of that. Dracognic. Tags. Um, um, uh. This will be the. I kind of just want to call him the psychic dragon, put Sporum on, but uh, we'll call him the. Uh, hmm. I want to say like almost like the monk. Sure, you know what? Let's just give him the the monk Sporamon. Let's just give him that. Okay, cool beans. He is done. Maybe one day we'll give him an evolution. That could be even in the next episode if you guys uh, would like to see that. But that is going to do it for this episode. That did actually end up taking a little longer than I was first anticipating. But we got two completely new ones. Um... And yeah, just for, for the time being, you know, let me know it, how, uh, if you liked the video. If you did, you know, fucking subscribe, uh, like, subscribe, comment, comment whatever you want. Tell me you liked it, uh, if you want to see more. And, um, yeah, that'll do it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed the return of Sporamon, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, jankheads.